What's up, you gorgeous moderators? My name is Sacramento Love. Aren't you tired of this? Uh, let me get you guys the IP. Okay, go for it. No, Did you know a DDoS attack is a federal offense under the Police and Justice Act of 2006 <laughs> in the US oh and UK? Or this. Um, uh, if you don't unmute Fry, you're getting booted off for a week. That's what he said, so. Oh, I, oh, do it. You can't fucking do shit. All you can do is boot me offline for 30 minutes. Don't you just want to enjoy a game and not worry about this? Another DDoS attack from 7.04 p.m. to 9.43 p.m. This one was fucking two hours long. I am PJ, you are a fucking douchebag. Well, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to set up a VPN to stay protected on Xbox Live. This also works on PlayStation. And there is a grand total of two successful ways setting up a VPN on Xbox and PlayStation. The introverted way, and the extroverted way. Please subscribe. If you're an introvert, keep watching. First thing you need is a VPN, here's a list of reputable VPN service providers. Here's a vast that I strongly recommend, and here you have um. You have a vast and a vast and well, I recommend a vast because they're cheap, offer protection to 10 different devices, have fast download speeds, and provide modern encryption like any other modern VPN pretty much. A vast did not sponsor this video. Here's how you set up your VPN the introverted way. First, go on your PC. This only works on Windows, by the way, so if you're on Mac saying, oh, Mac is the best computer ever, well, you're shit out of luck, my friend. <laughs> Put that in the refrigerator. You could put that in the refrigerator anytime. No, I just thought by. But you said you were nervous. Right click on your Wi Fi icon and click Network and Internet Settings. Find Mobile Hotspot and enable it. Now's also the time to click the arrow. Click on Properties and write down your password if you can't remember it. Next, go into your search bar and type in Network Connections. Here, you'll find all your available connections on your PC. Because of the Mobile Hotspot, you'll have Microsoft Wi Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. So go to your VPN network adapter, right click and click on properties. Go to the sharing tab and enable the option on the top, followed by selecting your home networking connection to the local area connection, which is the Microsoft Wi-Fi adapter. This will allow your connection to have a VPN. Once you're done, exit out of that and go to your VPN app. Avast for the win. Go to settings and click on VPN protocols. Make sure you turn on OpenVPN. Once you're done, turn on your VPN and use any location you want. I'm using Germany. That's Next, go to your Xbox. Introducing Xbox One. Navigate to settings and go to network settings. Click on setup wireless network and your PC connection should eventually pop up. There it is, Sacramento Love 0117. It's gonna ask for your password, so type that baby in, wait for it to connect and... Voila! Your Xbox or PlayStation is officially connected to the best VPN service provider. Avast. Avast did not sponsor this video. But we are not done here. There are two more steps you have to take. First step, you have to check if your VPN is working. So I checked my IP address and look at that. I'm vacationing in Germany. <laughs> look at these noobs, they thought I'm in London. <laughs> The VPN is working. Do you have a VPN? Do you have I a VPN? I don't know, Sunny Jim. Do I? That's for you to figure out, I guess. I'm speaking to you maturely. I just booted you. I just booted you. How are you online? Now, your second step is to simply celebrate. Your information is safe, and most importantly, your network is unhittable. Now, all you gotta do is find yourself a DDoSing douchebag and make him regret ever trying to DDoS someone. So, as a way to celebrate, Premium, you wanna try DDoSing me? You wanna try doing that, or, or no? Don't waste of time, buddy. You're on, X you're on Xbox. You're so cheap. what? I'm, I'm gonna surprise you with that shit, I'm up. You're gonna surprise me with the DDoS attack? Is that what you just said? Absolutely, bro. Okay, well, you know, I'm running a VPN. I don't know if you know what that means, but that's why I kind of challenged Yeah, bro, you. that VPN was hot 2009, buddy. The fuck are you talking Favorite about, dude? Shit now. No, I, I've interacted with a lot of booters on the internet. That's exactly how they sound like. Yeah, you're getting muted, pussy. Bro, hit the, well, fuck, hit the fucking retard, guys. Oh my god, he DDoS people, bro. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Fucking weirdo. The solution is simple. Don't DDoS like a fucking idiot. And I'm not gonna be calling you dude, out. Shut the fuck up and play play the game, dude. You okay? play the game. You're the one fucking hey. hitting people off the internet. What, hey. are, you, what are you telling hey. me to play the game hey. for? Hey. Hey. Fucking dumbass, hey. dude. Stop Rubs booting people off the internet. Hey. Go after me, dude. I have a VPN. Hey. I gotta mute this kid. Yeah, you hey. better fucking mute me because I'm gonna keep calling your ass out. Grown ass man, bitch. Grown ass man booting people off the internet man, when it's a fucking federal offense. I thought you muted me, big guy. What happened? Oh man, this guy has a VPN. I can't do shit. I might as well mute him. And that is how you set up a VPN. 
It's really simple and it's just so simple. Life is so beautiful when everything is simple and everything takes its shape and one and one is two and everything is so simple. Now there's a different way of having a VPN on your Xbox which I don't do anymore because it's inconvenient. Call your internet provider and ask them to help you set up your VPN directly to your router. This doesn't always work because not all routers support VPN configurations and not all ISPs allow VPN configurations to your router for some stupid reason despite it being 2024. Now, let's say your ISP, Optimum, allows VPN configurations and your router supports VPN configurations. Changing your router is pretty much a no-go because you're gonna have to set it up all over again if your router even allows VPN configurations. Changing your location is, <laughs> well, it's a no-go because apparently you'll have to set it up all over again. So well, yeah, the introverted way is what I highly recommend for the short term. Also, this gameplay you're watching was recorded on a VPN, a vast. Who did not sponsor this video? I don't play Modern Sweatfare 3, but for this video, since the topic is a VPN, I figured why not use a VPN to play in a casual lobby. This lobby was very casual, no one was sweating. Highly recommend 1010. Now this doesn't always work, because the sweaty nerds of this game use VPNs too to play against lower skill players. That's why you see all these streamers faking their fucking videos, they're not pros, they're fucking bot lobbies. But let's say you want a casual gaming experience. For me, I use Germany on my VPN. Which is vast if you forgot. Um, Avast did not sponsor this video. And to play at 3 in the morning. This does not work later in the day, because the sweats wake up and connect to these lobbies with their VPNs. So you pretty much have to do this when everyone is sleeping, it really depends on your time zone really, but still. But then again, I don't really play Modern Sweatfare 3, because that game really fucking sucks, like complete waste of fucking money. You see, I mainly do this to protect myself from DDoS attacks and all that. And you should too! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, I would appreciate that very much. With that being said, I thank you so much for stopping by and I hope Hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm out. Goodbye.